What? Again? Stop watching these Pokemons and go outside. It's Shinkeki no Kyojin, ma'am. Witka everyone, I'm Tsun and welcome to my anime channel. 23 problems all anime fans will inevitably come across. Just one more episode. For real, I just wanted to see if these problems are real, if I have it, had it or not. So yeah, let's check it out. When you cannot just watch one episode. Wow, this series is good. One more episode, I promise. This is something that all young anime fans can relate to. And some of old ones too, but not me. Yeah, it was like that in my young days, but now it's more like... How long this episode is? I want to sleep! When your career choices start revolving around your passion for anime. Why I want to learn Japanese? To impress people? To help my career? To watch anime without subtitles? Ouch! I remember when, like, seven years ago, I still wanted to learn Japanese. I even wanted to attend to some language school. Every anime fan was like that back then. Of course I gave up when I found out how hard this language is, but you know? I don't know if there is many otaku like that these days, cause I don't see as many fans saying they even want to learn Japanese these days as earlier. If they want, they are more serious about it. Even using Japanese words in normal talk isn't as popular now. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but even at conventions people are acting more... normal? I kinda miss our old days and all this web mess. It's just like we're not as visible as we were a few years ago. And I don't know if it's good or a bad thing. We're kinda colorless now. It's sad. When you're about to reach the end of an anime you're emotionally invested in. How I feel when I'm about to start watching a really good anime series. How I feel when I realize that I'm about to watch the last episode. For me, first image, yes, always, 100%. I am always feel like I'm about to start a fight with last boss, cause I somehow don't trust series that are really popular. Second image, yes and no, always. Half of me is like that, like, what I do after the last episode, my life is ending, but the other half is thinking, yes, give me that, I want to know everything. And then you realize that it won't continue. When you realize the anime you're watching doesn't have a second season. If it's currently airing, yes, I'm always sad, but hey, it's still better than waiting two years for a second session only to see that it's bad as hell. If it's finished series, then I don't have this problem, cause before watching I always check how many seasons this series has. And then you get really angry. I don't care how perfect or happy that anime ending was. I want a new season! Yeah, it's always the first start when I finish good anime. I want more, but you know, it's funny cause I waited so many years for some information about Kateki Hitman Reborn continuation just to realize I don't want it. For real, when I saw this Reborn L-Life collaboration I was amazed, but now I really don't want to hear about next season. I still prefer old style, even if it had so many errors. The new one is cool and really cute, but it was too moe for me. Girls looked like 8 year old children, and forgive me, but I still prefer when Gokudero's smoking was censored. I'm sorry, I'm heretic, I know. But I'm just too attached to him, and I want him to be more healthy? And then you get sad and confused because you don't know what to do with your life. That moment when your favorite anime ends. What am I going to do now? I always had this problem, until I started reading fanfics, doujinshis, drawing fan arts, and more. And if I have a good ship from this series, then I'm more like, okay, okay, it ended. Now give me all these cute fan arts and all. When people get irrationally angry that you haven't watched a particular show. Hey, take it easy. What? 
people are actually like that? Okay, I know how people can get angry if you don't like some series, but if you haven't watched it? What? I must admit I didn't saw something like that, but it's scary. When your parents just don't get it. <laughs> I wish I had problems like that. When there's unbelievable loud and exaggerated grunting in your favorite anime. I want to watch anime with loud speakers, but I'm afraid my neighbors might think I'm watching something else. Again, I don't understand. I always watch it like that, but not too loud, of course. I mean, I would have to watch it very loudly so that my neighbors would hear it, so I don't see a problem. When you wish you could have your favorite character's dietary habits. Why won't you get fat? Tell me your secret. Oh, it's about A. Uh, about fat? No, I'm not jealous, because for me, it's hard to get fat too, even if I like eating too often. My secret is to eat often, but not too many. I'm always more concerned about how healthy they are after eating so many sweets every day. I feel crazy after eating too many candies, so... When the heart break. That moment when your favorite anime character dies. No, 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 it's all a lie, you understand? He's still alive, he's still! It's just too much to handle. <laughs> no, my precious. No. And you end up a total mess. What did you do today? Watched anime and cried a lot. Yeah, it's just too much. Too much. I'm even a mess after seeing the flags. When you find your favorite anime on TV, but it's dubbed and not subbed. Wait, what? No, 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 you're wrong, it's still free anime. Nothing to be mad about. I talked about this once, but I will repeat myself. What is wrong about dub? Don't like it, don't watch, but if it's good, then I still buy it. When people brush off anime as cartoons, when people say anime is just like cartoons, Yep, it's me again in my young days. You don't understand, it's more mature, they're already anime for adults. Now I'm just saying, yeah, dear cartoons, but what is wrong about it? For kids. Oh, now you're near the lesson. I mean, I wouldn't show some edgy series as a proof, but I would just give this person Kimi no Nawa, for example, and say, here, watch it and tell me this again. Coming across spoilers. Why would you do that? Now I'm being something else. I'm always like, no, no spoilers this time. And after a few minutes I search for some and, you know, I still enjoy this series. But when someone asks me for some spoilers, I don't give them. I always say, you'll see. I'm evil, I know. When for a very brief second you take a step back and have a reality check. <laughs> Reality? What reality? I still have hope that after death I will live in anime world, so... When you're trying to explain an anime while watching it... What? So there is a difference between explaining currently watching anime and finish one? Cause I'm always like that and then I give the most mess up review that I could think about. When you see a cool otaku store but then you look at some price tags... <laughs> otaku store? I wish I could have one here, but I remember when, after AnimeCon one year, one year ago, I spent a few days in my old hometown. You know how it is at cons, right? You take a lot of money and you spend all of it. Anyway, one day I went with my friend to anime store. I still had some money, but not too much. She bought so many good things, yeah, so many. And when she asked me what I want, I was standing here for a while and said, uh, there is nothing good enough for me? <laughs> when your friends look at your music playlist on your iPod and they have no idea what they are looking at. <laughs> More like, what are you listening? <laughs> nothing, really. Let me see. No. No. <laughs> when you meet someone who totally gets what you're talking about. I gained another friend. Oh my god, I always go to shops with anime magazines and manga with hope to find some anime fans, but when I'm finally talking to one, after a few minutes I'm starting questioning my life. I don't know why, but it wasn't like that at cons or at school. There, 
Anime fans were fine. And finally... Okay, I guess it's nothing. Anyways, it's funny how so many of these problems weren't really my problems. Maybe I'm not really an otaku? Okay, that will be all. If you think I am worth it, give me a like, comment, subscribe and see ya in the next video. Narka!